You do know that serious crime has sharply risen over the last 16 months here in Atlanta with homicides and aggravated assaults spiking. The latest stats from APD illustrate the disturbing trend. Murders up 65%, aggravated assaults up 40%, and shooting incidents are up 54%. And now we're learning that during at least a portion of the same period, calls to Atlanta's 911 center have sharply fallen. Are they related? 11 Alive's Doug Richards takes a look at a story you'll only see right here on 11 Alive. We know that violent crime spiked unexpectedly in 2020. Now, another surprising trend may at least help explain it. When Atlanta erupted after days of protests last May 29th, following the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis, records show there were about 2,500 calls to Atlanta 911 that day. Just one day later, the number of calls to 911 dropped by more than one third, and the number of calls mostly stayed down. On the night Rayshard Brooks was shot and killed by police in a Wendy's parking lot less than three weeks later, records show the number of 911 calls dropped again afterward. Calls to Atlanta 911 dropped 37 percent from that point on in 2020 compared to 2019. While crime was rising, at least during the summer last year, the 911 calls fell. And they fell really significantly. Activist and blogger George Cheedy compiled the numbers. And I think that that's a reaction by the public to a perception of police misconduct. Um, people didn't want to call the cops, I think, in part, because they were afraid of how the police would react. Cheedy says it's likely that the drop in 911 calls isn't directly tied to increases in homicides and aggravated assaults, but he thinks the same conditions created both. It's not that fewer 911 calls create more crime, uh, but that it's a reflection of this breakdown in the relationship between the public and the police. And that breakdown is what causes crime. Violent crime had dropped in Atlanta for much of the last decade until homicides spiked in 2020. Few people have been able to explain that. Chidi thinks that the drop in 911 calls last year may at least provide a starting point for some answers. 